Hi everyone, my name is Jamie. Welcome to Border Bananas. Today I'm going to show you how I am implementing a new cat litter situation in my home. Like everybody else in the world right now, um, there are is ton there is a ton of talk about recession, depression, uh, the economy, and I think everything is just a little unstable and everybody is a little unsure. So I've been looking for ways to save a little money on everyday things, um, and I think I have found one. So I found this lady on YouTube. I have not been able to refind her channel since I found her. Um, it was back in the middle of March, I believe, that I found her. And um, she did something like this. She was very informative. She taught me a lot. If I can find her channel, I will link it down in the description box because she needs the credit. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try real hard. So, but what this is, is a cat litter system that uses horse pellets instead of cat litter. Um, and it's just really cool. Now the system she used no longer works. They no, no longer sell that system anymore. I mean, you can still get it if you pay a lot of money on, or on Instagram, no, on Amazon. Um, but I think I found something that will work um, instead. So I found this sifting pan. It's the large sifting pan from Arm & Hammer. I got it on Amazon and I will link all this stuff down below for you. Okay, so it comes with three separate pieces. And what you do is you take off the sifting, sifting pan. You're gonna to wanna to turn, take off these stickers too. I probably could have done that in a more satisfying way. <laughs> but you know, okay. Then you're gonna want something to hold the sifting pan up off the bottom of the middle pan a little bit. You can use a piece of wood, it doesn't matter, but I have these couple of little plastic tray type things that I'm going to use. And it's just gonna hold it up off the wood or off the bottom of this pan a couple of inches. Then I'm going to use a puppy pad to line that um, sifting tray or that bottom tray. Let's see, should I turn it this way? There. And just kind of stick it down in there. And then put this down in with it. Like so. And so what happens is these puppy pads I also got at on, on Amazon. This tray was $17 for all three pieces. The puppy pads were $17 for a hundred. That will last you a hundred weeks, almost two full years. Because you only have to change that out once a week. And then this pellets, these pellets are $6 and some change at Tractor Supply, uh, Fleet Farm, Farm and Home, if you have an Agway, any like farm supply store will have these for you. Um, and they're $6.49 for a 40 pound bag. I bought two bags and that will last me an entire year. So now I ha that I have the puppy pad raised up on a tray in here. What I'll do is fill this up with the pellets. I think my kids already opened it. Yep. Let's see. Let's see how much I should put in there. You don't need to put too much in, I don't think. Okay, that's probably enough. So this is a two cup measuring cup. So I put eight cups in there, put four scoops, and just enough to you know get get the bottom line with a couple few inches of um, 
these scoops. So then what happens is when your cat goes to the bathroom, um, when it urinates, it the pellets turn immediately into sawdust and it goes down into the bottom of the pan. Uh, and then you only scoop out the bowel movements. That's it. You never ever change the pellets that are in here. You just keep adding more. And then when it's time to like chain or er, to clean the puppy pad underneath, you just take it, you sift it. Well, first you want to take the bottom pan off, <laughs> pull this pan out, you sift it, put it in the other pan, and then clean what's in the bottom of the puppy pad. Just pick it up, put it in a bag, put it in the garbage, and you are done. No touching anything, <laughs> no scooping the, you know, the clay, no odor. That's another thing about this. This is supposed to completely eliminate the cat urine smell. So um, I'm really excited to give this a try because let's see. Okay, so this will last two years. So if I divvy $17 up by two, We'll, we'll just round it up and say, well, $9, okay? And so that would actually be $8, or um, $8.50, but $9, and then uh, $12 is $21 for the entire year, after the first year, I should say, because I did buy the sifting pan and um, two years supply of the puppy pads. So $21 for the year for cat litter. That's a pretty good deal, considering I pay $15 to $18 per month for the Tidy Cats, depending on the price, the sale price at Walmart that month. So that is pretty exciting. That is how I am going to save on cat litter. <laughs> well, hopefully for the rest of my life. <laughs> If you like that video, I have another video right here you can watch. It's seven money-saving hacks that you can do every day. Thanks, guys. Bye.